key loan growth and profitability. The challenge of growing loan books in the face of rising interest rates has not become daunting as yet, say, banks, as they are in a pretty strong position to deal with these challenges. Abhishek Kotari balances the books of 2022 for the Indian banking sector as we rewind the year. Well, 2022 has been a phenomenal year for the banking sector. Bankers have a reason to smile as they move away from the pain of NPA cycle to healthy loan growth and profitability. So talking about profitability, Profits for the sector on a quarterly basis has increased from Rs 36,854 crores in Q2 FI22 to right now about 58,717 crores as of Q2 FI23. Now, factors that have helped in improving the profitability of the banks is improvement in loan growth and reduction in stress portfolio of the banks. So, loan growth for the banking sector as of Q2 FI23 was at 16.44%, perhaps one of the highest that you saw from 1st of November 2013. The rise in loan growth helped in stronger top line growth for the banking sector, which has helped the bottom line or the earnings of the banks. So the loan growth incrementally has been driven by the retail segment. Now corporates have started to come back for working capital loans as money market rates have shot up through the roof. So capex based demand going ahead may augur well for healthy loan growth rate for the banking sector. Stronger loan growth has also translated into healthy operating profit growth for the banking sector. Operating profits of the sector has grown from 97,383 crore in Q2 FY22 to right now a little under 1,15,000 crore as of Q2 FY23. Stress reduction. The banking sector has seen its gross NP ratio decline from 7.4% in Q2 FY22 to right now about 5.24% in Q2 FY23. In value-wise, the decline has been 15.2% YOI in Q2 FI23. The declining gross NPA amount-wise has largely been led by the PSU banks. Now, PSU banks' gross NPA on a value-wise has declined by 15.9% YOI, that is from Q2 FI22 to Q2 FI23, while that of private sector banks has declined by 12.7% in the same period. So, PSU banks, the gross NPA ratio has declined by 250 six basis points from Q2 FI22 to Q2 FI23, while that of private sector banks has declined by 119 basis points in the same period. Banks' balance sheet has strengthened, with their core provision coverage ratio increasing from 69.7% in Q2 FI22 to right now about 74.6% in Q2 FI23. PSU Bank's core provision uh, coverage ratio has increased to 74.9% in Q2 FI23 when compared to a little under 70% in Q2 FI22. And that of private sector banks has increased to 74.4% in Q2 FI23 versus 69% that they had a year ago. So for 2023, the loan growth could remain strong and could be in double digits. Net interest margin will continue to expand till Q4 FI23 results as loans are getting repriced faster and at a healthier rate. Return ratios will expand as credit costs will come down and stress in the balance sheet will continue its downward trajectory. Oh yes, the banking space is in focus. Abhishek, thank you for all those details. And with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Chartbusters. Stay tuned. Trading Hour will take all the action ahead.